All right, guys, uh, problems, uh, chapter six, problem number one. Hello, chemistry fans, and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 problem solving session here at the Academic Success Center on Broward College North Campus. I am your guide, Dr. Russell Betts, and I'll be leading you through this problem. So let's take a look. All right, consider an atom of sodium. Here I am considering it. All right, it's considered. Is sodium a metal, non-metal, or a metalloid? All right, well, that's a straightforward question. Let's bring up the periodic table. Over here on the far left, that's sodium. Sodium is on the far left-hand side of the stair step. So sodium is a metal. So let's write down metal. All right, that was pretty easy. How many valence electrons does sodium have? Hmm, well, let's bring the periodic table back up. Sodium is in group number one. All group one elements have one valence electron. Because of group one, all of these have one valence electron. So let's write that down. How many valence electron does sodium have? It has one. Will sodium gain or lose electrons in order to satisfy the octet rule? The octet rule, we haven't talked about that yet, so let's talk about it now. The octet rule simply states that all atoms want to kind of resemble their corresponding noble gas, or the noble gas that is closest to them in the periodic table. Noble gases uh, tend to be very, very stable, so all elements tend to want to have the similar or the same electron arrangement as the noble gases. Tet, uh, almost always it's an octet, except for helium, which is a duet. Helium uh, has two electrons in its valence shell. Uh, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, they have uh, eight in their valence shell. So now, let's discuss. Sodium has one valence electron. So sodium could either gain seven to look like argon, or it could lose one to look like neon. So sodium's over here, he's got one valence electron, and he desperately wants to have the same electron configuration as a noble gas. Here are the noble gases. Sodium looks over here at argon, longingly, desiring to be a noble gas, if only sodium could gain seven electrons, he would be happy, he would look like argon. But alas, gaining seven electrons is a, quite an accomplishment. It's very difficult to do. However, sodium is no slouch. He looks backwards behind him and says, wait a minute, if I can just dump off my single valence electron, I can have a similar electron configuration to neon. Or basically, it'll be the same as neon. So, what I tell my students is to think about this. Would you rather lift seven bags of cement up the stairs or throw one bag of cement out the window? Most people will throw one bag of cement out the window. It's much easier than hauling seven bags upstairs. Okay? So, sodium is basically going to throw his electron out the window, if you want to think of it that way, to look just like neon. So sodium will lose one E negative. It'll lose, and it'll just toss it out. It'll throw it away. Now, it doesn't throw it away. It actually gives it to someone else, or it gets stolen by someone else or some other atom. But for now, it just throws it away. What is the charge on sodium if it becomes an ion? Now, an ion is a charged particle. Ions are things like cations are anions. Cations are positively charged, anions are negatively charged. So sodium is going to throw an electron away. Well, let's, let's do this out carefully. Let's, let's carefully consider this question. On the periodic table, let's just pull it up again. Sodium has 11 protons. Its atomic number is 11, so it has 11 protons. So an atom of sodium, protons equal, protons equal uh, 11. Electrons equal 11. So 
the positive charges and the negative charges equal. So the grand total of charges is zero. So an atom of sodium has no charge. But now an ion, ion of sodium, the protons are still 11. The protons won't change. If you change the proton, you change the atom or the ion. So the protons remain the same. But now, if we lose an electron, we go from having 11 to having 10. 10 positives, 10, sorry, 11 positives, 10 negatives. The overall charge here will be plus 1, or positive 1. So what does that mean? That means that an ion of sodium must have a plus 1 charge. An atom has no charge. An ion has plus 1. So sodium will be positive 1. And we write that like this, sodium with a plus charge, superscripted on the right uh, charge. The charge is always superscripted to the right. So sodium, if it's an ion, will be Na plus 1 because it has one less electron than it does proton. So the charge becomes positive 1. Now, this is a very important concept. You're going to really need to understand this. So please do not let this sit. If you don't understand it, or you're having trouble understanding it, please contact one of the tutors here at the Academic Success Center. If you'd rather, please come on by the, your professor's office hours and, and talk to them about it. Get it straightened out. It's really not difficult, but it's important that you get it straightened out. Now with that, I hope that this video has been helpful, and I wish you good luck and good chemistry.